Hi guys, so I'm here with you to share um, these goodies that I made for my good friend Anna. Hi girlfriend, happy birthday. So um, her birthday was on the 28th and I messaged her and told her that I would be getting this out this week. So I had a lot of just odds and ends and you know school stuff craziness going on right now. So um, anyway, uh, I wanted to just share with you what I created. I decided, um, to show her my mad love for her because she knows I don't make embellishments and I made her some embellishments. So anyway, um, this is the card that I created for her. Um, a while back I had shared some Mother's Day cards that I had created and I had, um, some of the templates left over so I decided to go ahead and use one of the templates and create um, another card. It's basically the same as I had shared um, only I added some stickles and I added this XO and then inside here I wrote um, I stand your truly one amazing friend that is I believe from a hero arts set so anyway, that's the card. This is Pink Paisley um, Butterfly Garden or something like that. But um, and the embellishments are as well. So I don't know if you you know if you want to know the the I think it's called Butterfly Garden. But if you'd like to know, I can look it up for you and find the paper. So that's the card. And then I created this really super cute um, shaker set, shaker frame. I used some Wild Orchid Craft flowers here, some leftover girls papery from my pocket letter swap with Gina. Um, I used my ever favorite uh, You Rock Die from Julie Ebersol, and that's just some gold foil. And then it says, For My Sweet Friend. And this is another sequin bow from Frog Feathers. Oops, sorry for the glare. And then I used little um, halfback pearl hearts, sequins from uh, Natalie and uh, Pretty Pink Posh. And um, yeah, so that's my little frame. I used the Tim Holtz um, small, or I think it's just called easel. And I cut it down and I made a template for projects like this when I want it to um, fit a smaller project. So I knew I, it probably would have fit if I put the frame like that, but I wanted the frame to sit like this. So then I created this gorgeous box out of um, the Lemoncraft paper House of Roses. And I fussy cut the butterflies out of the tag page I fussy cut this, which you really can't see now. It's almost like a like a journaling spot. And then I fussy cut um, this flower spray, also from the tag set, and another butterfly. And I sugared these with um, this uh, Distress Dry Glitter, the rock candy. And then I used the flare that came in the kit. Um, I had left a link to Tracy's shop where I had shopped for this paper um, at Art Attack Supplies. So I love the way that butterfly came out. And then I used my Little Bee um, a die set to cut out Celebrate from the paper pack. And I used this stuff which I enjoy a lot more sometimes than glossy accents because it doesn't clog and um, it comes with uh, you know the tip with the needle that goes right in it so I don't know that this is an adhesive but it just it just basically acts like glossy accents so I use that over oops, over the celebrate I don't know if it's going to show, but you can see the shine on it. So I cut it out twice, stuck it together, and then glued it there. Um, and then inside, 
I used, uh, I wanted to keep this paper out because I love the way I happened to cut the die so that you can see this um, stream down with the bows and the little like uh, trellis of um, roses there. And then I just kept it like that. So that's the like the B side of this paper. This is my favorite paper. It's so, so pretty. I don't know. I only have scraps left. <laughs> so, you know I love you when I'm using my best stuff and I don't care if I don't have any left. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, but I love you, my sister. So, that's that. Okay. And then I created this mat here again with the papers and I just put some simple pop dots in the back. She can take these off. This, I um, scrap lifted this idea from Malika, who is Iola DIY Crafts here on YouTube. And I will put the description box to her channel where she explains how to create these. So they're little shaker frames. I used a paper tray ink I want to say the die set and the stamp set were called Everything Eleanor. So that's by Paper Tray Ink. And then I made shakers. I put little satin bows, wild orchid craft flowers, stickles, and then those word beads. So I created one. This is again the girls' papery scraps that I had left over from the pocket letter swap I did. So those are the shaker frames. Then I created this, um, this is a Sizzix die, I think it's just called Scallop Circle, maybe number two. And these are the Primitive Hearts by Sizzix. And I just mounted them on chipboard, again with girls' papery scraps, and just put little flourishes of flowers. There's a little um, Prima Doily back here that I cut apart. And then some stickles. And then she's really into um, summertime treats, ice cream cones and candies and donuts and stuff like that. So um, I have this uh, Echo Park die, which Okay, sorry about that. I combined um, three of the die sets together. Um, these are Echo Park dies. Um, they're also teamed up, I think, with Cartabella to make dies. But this is definitely one of their summertime. Um, this is a Vespa, this is a bicycle, and this is the Popsicle one that I used. So I created, and this is a Dear Lizzie Bow um, die here. So I created these little um, popsicles out of uh, the Lawn Fawn paper, the Monami, um, the polka dot. And I just layered cute colors that I thought she would like. So I made two of those. And then I used I used my um, donut set from uh, MFT and I created some donuts. So <laughs> I had a lot of fun making these actually. It was very funny. These sprinkles I wound up die cutting and sticking on and then the sprinkles here I die cut into the layer and layered it onto the paper. And then I made these super cute mini ones on paper clips. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I messaged her and said, you know, I have mad love for you when I'm actually creating embellishments. <laughs> um, I just, I don't know how you girls do it. You guys are so talented making all kinds of these little things. I just, 
I don't have the patience most of the time, which because, you know, I just like to open the package and stick it on my project. But this was actually a lot of fun. And the end result um, is what the best part is. So anyway, if you have any questions about what I used or um, what products I use, or if you just want to, you know, leave a comment, um, I appreciate it. So I'll see you guys later and uh, have a great week. Bye.